What is up, it's your boy Johnny Shreve, IFBB Pro Mr. Telic. It is. Welcome back to a podcast uncut. Today we're gonna go over exercises that are unnecessary for your fitness goals. Now we're talking about in terms of like if your goals are just to build muscle and to change your overall musculature look, you know, you just want to look better. Wide shoulders, small waist, bigger quads, you know, you want to accentuate the X frame or V taper, whatever it is. I'm giving you guys exercises that are not necessary for that goal. First off is For legs, barbell back squats. You're like, whoa, yes, you do not have to do a barbell back squat. Remember guys, the difference between exercise and movements. Movement patterns are the same in a lot of different movements and a lot of different exercises. So when it comes to back squats, you do not have to do barbell back squats in order to do a squat. You can do goblet squats or front squats. Sometimes, most of the time, people we can't even do back squats properly. So start off doing like a regression of like maybe like goblet squats and front squats, whatever it is, you do not have to do barbell squats to grow your legs. Next up, off the barbell deadlift deadlifts are not necessary for you to build your overall physique at all unless you're a power they're going to meet we have to do the three main lifts powerlifting deadlift squat or bench it's not necessary there's a bunch of other movements you can do that can actually help grow your back like pull-ups or rows or you know any chest supporter row will help with that back thickness and a lot of times for deadlifts that's what most people are doing they're doing deadlifts to get bigger back thickness now for powerlifters you need to do it for those who are just trying to grow muscle and look good it's not necessary next on the list for chest decline bench decline bench isn't necessary it's not for the most part people aren't lacking the chest underneath here the intercostal part of the head of the chest that's here it's most of the time people are lacking their upper chest they were, they were lacking their main part of the chest and then their upper chest pec minors the clavicle head wherever you want to call it that's the part that needs the most work but you don't have to do decline bench to have a better chest you can do something as easy as machine dips dips whatever that might be better for you to do anyway than doing decline bench well, guys, check it out. Like you guys are watching the video, but not subscribe, so check it out. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so next time I put a video, we'll be the first ones to get it. And also, guys, hopefully by now you like the video. As short as it is, hope you guys like it. So hit the like button. Back to the show. Next on the list for back, wide grip pull-ups or pull-downs. It is not necessary to have your hands all the way this wide it is not at all the reason why i put it there is for just the overall terminology wide grip pull-ups people think that you literally have to be over here this wide doing pull-ups and guess what your range of motion is restricted it's gonna be hard on the joints and you're not gonna be able to do them as effective as just doing a pull-up or pull down with your hands a little outside show with the part now for triceps a couple things could go but for me for the most part skull crushers skull crushers are not necessary i was also gonna say skull crushers anything behind the neck pressing like this it's not necessary there are other moves you can do for triceps that are going to be that much better for your tricep and overall just your posture be able to hold your body control and to get a better overall muscle contraction like cable press downs dips close grip bench press those things can help out a lot more than doing skull crushers and anything behind the neck plus you're going to avoid any type of elbow or shoulder impingements like that doing a skull crusher so try some other movements now biceps Here's one for you guys, reverse curl. It's not necessary. Reverse curl is not a necessary movement to do to build your bicep. Remember your bicep, every one of them, every every part of your bicep does elbow flexion. So if you're really trying to build this part of your arm, the brachioradialis, you can do hammer curls and hammer curls are gonna be a lot better bang for their buck than doing reverse curls. I don't care what grip it is. I don't care how you're holding it. Reverse curls is definitely not as good as doing hammer curls or supinated curls or just regular curls, whether it's a dumbbell, barbell machine whatever it is they all trump reverse curls now here it goes shoulders shoulders guys we do not need to do anything behind the neck and pressing unless you're doing a legitimate actual snatch grip press snatch form it's not necessary and again this list is for those who are just trying to build muscle you're just trying to look better you're trying to take your physique from point a to point b i'm not talking about performance i'm not talking about you doing a powerlifting meet or olympic lifting meet or whatever it is i'm talking you just literally want to build your muscle these exercises are not necessary so again shoulders behind the neck press is not necessary if you want to hit the rear delts do standing overhead press that's going to work and then start capitalizing on some like accessory movements like reverse pec deck or bent over reverse flies or even cable flies reverse cable flies those are all going to hit your rear delts that much better without putting yourself in a vulnerable position to get hurt so barbell squats don't need it you don't have to load your spine to build muscle deadlifts again we can build our back thickness with other movements any type of row chest supported row dumbbell row even rack pulls i would trump overdoing deadlifts in terms of building your overall back muscle then going to chest decline bench not necessary at all 
overall decline bench. Next on that was actually going to be flies, but again, dumbbell, decline bench, whether it's dumbbell or barbell, not necessary. Back, wide grip, don't have to do it. Triceps, skull crushers, or anything behind the neck, not, not needed. Biceps, again, reverse curls, easily can be trumped from just doing hammer curls. And then last but not least, shoulders, behind the neck press again. Anything behind the neck, I don't recommend it. Anyway, guys, that's my list, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that, guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, McCumble, the telic, it is transparent, vulnerable truth. For coaching, johnashu.com. If you want to know more about my coaching, guys, book yourself a phone consult, 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of the consult, I deduct the consult up any package that you pick also guys make sure you guys hit the description below for those discount codes and promo codes out save your life or change life for the better like johnny 10 for 10 percent off blue star nutraceuticals so go over there right now guys at bluestarnutraceuticals.com or hit the link in the bio right now and guys add me on instagram and tiktok send me your progress pics your training pics and your video clips and i'll repost it for you guys because you know it is iron shepherd's iron progressive overload your life in the meantime keep gym chasing peace